I wanted to go to a school where I could make a difference and have an impact. My name is Jeremiah Joseph and I'm in the Western Integrated Science Program. The program is different. It focuses on tackling problems in science from a multidisciplinary perspective, a chemistry point of view, a physics point of view, a biology point of view, so we have a better understanding of the problem that we're dealing with. We're given the opportunity to be in a community-engaged learning course where we can use the knowledge that we learn in our courses and apply it to real-world problems and projects. I wanted to have a quality education but also have a balance of community and learning about myself and making a lot of meaningful friendships and Western is giving me that. Hi everyone. Welcome to Western and to our virtual open house. My name is Felix Lee and I'm delighted to tell you more about our integrated science program. If after the presentation you have any additional questions about the program, please don't hesitate to contact me using the email address right over here. Have a great day. Let's now look at the Integrated Science program in a little more detail. The program is a four-year program, and at the end of the program, students will receive an honors degree with a specialization in integrated science and in a certain discipline. There are currently seven disciplines from which to choose, and these disciplines represent the main areas of the Faculty of Science. So, what are the benefits of the Integrated Science program? First of all, the enrollment is limited, so all classes in integrated science have no more than 60 students in them. Because our classes are small, everyone knows each other by name. Everyone in the program is there for a different reason, and they all have different interests, but what they all have in common is that they just all love science. Secondly, it's important to realize that science today is very team-based. Different individuals bring different skills and their area of expertise to the table, but in a team, everyone must still be able to communicate together in the language of science. Our program exposes students to the different areas of science, and that's so that they can communicate the language of science, but yet the program ensures that they're still an expert in one specific area. Finally, the program has a really strong emphasis on professional skills. These are the skills that employers and professional programs such as med school, law school, and grad programs really look for. In integrated science, starting right in first year, students, for example, learn to give scientific presentations and use Excel to analyze data. Those are opportunities that students don't even get until second or third year of other programs. What then is the structure of the program? In the fall term of first year, students typically take the common set of four courses, those being chem, physics, calc, and bio. They'll also take a non-science elective, as well as integrated science 1000Z. This course is called Evolution of the Scientific Process, and it examines how science and scientific discovery has changed over time. 1000Z is a half course that spans both terms. In the winter term, students continue to take an elective in 1000Z, but now to take Integrated Science 1001X instead of second term courses in Chem, Physics, Bio, and Calc. 1001X is one of the most amazing courses in the Integrated Science program, so let's have a quick look and see what it's about. Now, 1001X is a 2.0 course which means that it counts as four half courses. In 1001X, students learn not just chem, bio, physics, and calc, but they're also exposed to three areas that students who are not in integrated science normally would not ever see. Those are astronomy, computer science, and earth science. Computer science is a particularly important one. Think about all the jobs out there that require basic coding and computer science skills. But the most interesting part is how we approach these topics. How do we teach these seven topics together? Well, what we do is we look at these topics in the framework of four questions that are extremely interdisciplinary. How did Earth evolve? What's energy? What's life? And how does your smartphone work? For example, in How Did Earth Evolve, we look at biology in the context of life evolving on Earth. Chemistry in the context of, for example, atmospheric change. We can use computer science and physics to describe oceans and waves. There's mass involved in that process. 
Earth is a planet. There's astronomy. Earth sciences, tectonic plates. That's all covered in How Did Earth Evolve? After first year, students will take a set of integrated science courses as well as courses in their chosen area of concentration. The integrated science courses are very interdisciplinary and some of them are also very unique to the program. Science in the community, for example, has a community-engaged learning component where students work with local partners to solve a specific problem. Last year, some students worked with the City of London on a drinking water project. Between years three and four, students can also participate in the Science Internship Program. This is Western's version of a co-op program, and it's very similar to the U of T Professional Experience Year and the Queen's Undergraduate Internship Program. Students in the program are paid, typically between about $40,000 to $60,000 per year, and they work at one company for 8 to 16 months. Once they're done their internship, they return to Western to complete their final year and graduate. That means that they'll take a total of five years to graduate, one of which is paid. So then, where do our graduates go? Our program started in 2016, so we graduated our first group of students just this year. Because the students in the program really love science, they usually continue on to grad school, literally all over the world. We also have students who went to med school and law school, and that's important because it shows that integrated science isn't just for those who want to end up purely in science. The technical skills and the professional skills that the students come out with really allow them to be really versatile. So if you're interested, how do you apply? The course requirements for integrated science are the same as those needed for general science, plus you need chemistry. With respect to admissions and the cutoff, it's the same cutoff used for general science and even though the cutoff varies year to year, we always tell students that having an average close to 90 would be a safe bet. To apply, there are two steps. The first step is to apply to science on the Ontario University's Application Centre website. When you fill out the application, just make sure that you choose Integrated Science as a subject of major interest. After you submit the application, go to our website and click on a link to fill out a supplementary application. The questions on that application are very holistic and they're not at all academic. That's because the application is so that we can make sure that the program is the right fit for you and vice versa. If you have any questions about the application process or about the program in general, please don't hesitate to check out our website or simply email me. Of course, we also have a question period coming right up and that's right after Nadia's video. Everyone is focused on helping me succeed. My name is Nadia Ayose and I'm studying Integrated Science at Western. This program is unique because of the interdisciplinary approach that's taken towards teaching science. Sometimes in order to understand a concept, you just need that one extra perspective. That is the beauty of being in this program. Because it's a small group, you have a sense of belonging, like it's your family. My Western experience has been unforgettable. The overlap of these communities just offers an experience that's just so enriching. I don't think I can ever find that anywhere else.